Now, as we all know, we are faced with a serious environmental crisis, of which I would say agriculture, land gets degraded year after year and it tops all other environmental crises. What is the reason for the recent uh, um, talk about stepping up the agricultural produce? When I say agricultural produce, people usually think it is uh, only confined to rice and wheat, but it is not so. Gone are the days when our ancestors actually cultivated great reverence, I would say with great reverence. In addition to this agriculture, the small millets, even though we call as millets, uh, which in uh, Tamil we call as uh, Sirudhaniyangal, it loses its importance in recent days for want of two things. We don't have quality seeds and we don't have people willing to take uh, these millets which are very, very essential for our health and well-being. That is one aspect. And why? And I, I would greatly say, even I would rather emphasize, millets are our future, the only future. And there is no two opinion regarding this. Whether, I don't know whether some of the people agree or not. It is a stark truth that millets alone will save us from so many things with regard to agriculture produce. And coming to the present status of agriculture, what is the present status, I would say, when I say present status, whether I would like to pose some two or three questions whether the produce is sufficient to satisfy the hunger of millions and millions of Indians. And number two, even if it is sufficient, whether the food grains are free from poisonous materials. And number three, regarding the economy of agriculture uh, production, I would say we have, we are lagging behind even the uh, first world countries like California, uh, especially California, American uh, agriculture. It is a rather paradox that the first world countries, which are which we think they are well off, they take up agriculture so seriously, whereas in India where we have cherished agriculture for the past 5,000 years and we don't take agriculture seriously due to so many factors. We are in the age of information technology, so to say. So what? I would like to pose one question to the youngsters. All right, you have information technology, you can bring America or Europe in your drawing room, but can you thrive with computer and computer alone without having protected water as well as non-poison, healthy food materials. It is a serious question and uh, it is for the youngsters to give serious thought to the basic things in life rather than the, advanced, the scientific advancements. And second thing, whether we have achieved or what all we have achieved in science, are we applying to agriculture? and satisfy the needs of the poor, that is very important. And another thing, the mind-boggling question is, well, no doubt the agriculture universities will say that we have made lot of discoveries, we have invented lot of uh, high-yielding variety of seeds, fine, but how many farmers can afford to follow the agriculture universities, uh, inventions or discoveries or whatever it is. And, uh, and we should not forget that 
India, uh, in India, nearly 70% are agriculture. And our, another thing, Indian economy is based on agriculture and agriculture and agriculture alone, not on anything else. Because ours is agriculture economy, economy because 75% of Indians are the farmers and of which majority are small farmers, small holdings. They don't have hectares and hectares of land, one thing. And on the other hand, they don't have enough funds to try all the scientific advancements in their field because of 65%, uh, large percentage are having uh, small holdings. How long? And in their small holdings, it's only the natural farming that will work out, not the uh, high sounding discoveries of agriculture university. And another thing, and what is our target actually? What is our target of production? 250 in years to come. 200 in the 22nd century or in the years to come. To, we have to produce uh, to satisfy the growing millions of Indians. 250 million tons of food grain. But now what happens? Even, is it possible? Yes. The answer is a big yes. Provided we educate the farmers. We uh, persuade the farmers to follow the right steps to step up agriculture production and not to give up farming profession. Now, the deplorable situation is with uh, this uh, growing population, urbanization, and due to urbanization, so many farmers, even the sons of the farmers, uh, sons and daughters of the farmers who previously used to follow the agriculture profession are not to, ready to take up this farming and they, they want to take up uh, this um, high um, uh, paying jobs, okay fine, but uh, in order to satisfy the hunger of millions and millions of people as I have already told and uh, not all can take up jobs, the agriculture community of course they will ask whether we are, whether uh, we can't be like other uh, counterparts, yes, certainly. What is wrong in actually, uh, what is wrong in actually stepping up the agriculture production as well as being on par with the other so-called uh, advantages uh, population. Definitely it is possible and I don't think uh, impossible can be found only in the dictionary. And the 11th five-year plan recently, I can even give a blueprint, uh, blueprint for uh, increase for increasing our agriculture. What is that blueprint? Uh, that is the 11th five-year plan seeks to achieve 4% growth rate in agriculture by the end of the plan period. But if we can plan properly, we can increase definitely to 10%. And uh, our geographical area, Indian geographical area, you know how much of land is available? 329 million uh, hectares of land is available in India, of which half of 50% uh, is degraded. Even I can say it is a wasteland. No, it is a wasted land. Now, how to bring all this wasteland or wasted land, whatever you may call, under cultivable areas. How to bring this wasteland? There are methods. We, people are talking about the dry land agriculture, this and that. And in this, uh, and 65% uh, of, 65% uh, of the area, Rainford uh, is, Rainford area, and there is no assured water supply. If the rain fails, the agriculture is, they, that is the reason they, they resort to suicide even in and Andhra tops, I think, Andhra, even Tanjavur used to be granary, granary of the south, everyone are, is familiar, they are actually resorting to suicide. Such, should such a condition occur in Tamil Nadu, especially in Tamil Nadu, where the farmers were really um, marching ahead 
even they excelled all others and if no assurance is given for the farmers uh, for this uh, water supply or increasing irrigation facilities i am sure all the farmers are ready to give up farming uh, readily and take up any other profession and 30% of the perishables get lost so what is needed is not a one time solution a one stop solution a package of practices are needed for agriculture a package a package of practices we can't say come on uh, take up this take up this and you will achieve this uh, 10% growth in agriculture we can't have but a, what is meant by a package of practices of which the top most is our now i can say go back to nature and uh, go, uh, practice the methods uh, followed by our a uh, mixture of ancient methods and modern alone will help to increase our production and not modern method alone that is our neither ancient method alone will satisfy nor the modern methods are not against any scientific uh, advancement but a blend of modern as well as scientific alone will pay uh, uh, or will pay dividend and not any one particular method and uh, what is meant by package of practices people often forget that agriculture uh, production you know first uh, before passing on to uh, these packages of practice what is the deplorable condition today we are facing see i would, what is soil actually we forget that soil is a living structure soil uh, is robust structure even i can say soil means uh, it's not a dead mass it is not a dead mass but a living mass a living mass I, what is the definition for soil soul of infinite life that is how our soil used to be it, is a, it was a soul of infinite life but uh, the same spelling we have converted the same soil of infinite life to soul of inert life is it not true and uh, don't you agree that we have really turned uh, the life giving soil to lifeless mass to lifeless mere dead mass i can say dead mass means the soil is not a dead mass you know there are thousands and thousands of microorganisms are there macroorganisms are there which all work in harmony in order to make the soil fertile in order to make the soil now can you ever imagine now you go to any village site you can see uh, the soil not the living soil but only um uh, dead soil mass not the black loose soil a tight soil mass alone is available